Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing very fabulous. So today's video, I'm gonna do another installment of my unused forgotten palette series. I swear I could just dedicate my entire channel just to that subject matter, but <laughs> but of course I won't. But I'm gonna use the Charlie's Angels um, eyeshadow palette from Flower Beauty. This one just happens to be, I'll show, let me just show it to you. Drew Barrymore when she was a young little whippersnapper. And this is this is the back of it. And you can see I purchased it at TJ Maxx and I'm thinking it was only like $3.99, $4.99, something like that. But I guess this particular palette is dedicated to Dylan Sanders, which I guess was her character when they did the Charlie's Angels movie, which came out like a long time ago. Yeah, I think this movie came out in 2003. Yeah, that's a long time ago, you guys. I was young too. I was a young whippersnapper myself. <laughs> but anyway, so I have really been um, wanting to get into this palette. I'm thinking, I think like I said, I think I bought it like a year ago and I just haven't used it yet. But the color story is just absolutely, let me show it to you up close real quick. The color story is just absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at these neutral brown, just gorgeous bronze tones here. You got a couple little like pinky shades there. I'm um, debating. I'm still debating on what type of eye look I want to do. But what I'm going to do first though, is I'm going to take this one right here. It's called I've Come Undone. It looks like a matte to me and it's the lightest matte in the palette. I'm going to use that on the base as a base on my eyes. Even though I primed my eyes, I'm using a different primer than I normally use and it settled into my fine lines. It looks very rough. Um, it's, I'm not sure if I even, let me see if I can show it to you guys up close. Can you see how it kind of, you guys see how it's settling into my fine lines like right here? And then right here, it's just coming apart right here. And um, my eyes are not even watering today, surprisingly. Normally my allergies, you know, my eyes are always watering, but um, so it's new, but I don't want to judge it yet. Let's see how it, 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 you know, puts makeup on, but I don't know, I'm a little scared. But anyway, so I'm going to take this. I'm going, and that one's called, um, I've come undone. Let me just put it all over the eye as a base and hopefully the, it, this, this new primer, um, that I was testing out mm, doesn't ruin it, but so far, oh, I don't like it. Okay. I don't even like how this shade is going on. Um, all right, let me blend everything out. Oh boy. No, this was a mistake. All right, let me show it to you. Let me show you the primer that I'm using. which is a total shame because you guys, I love Ace Beauté's makeup. This is my first time using the primer from them just because they were having a Black Friday sale. So I did purchase a bunch of products. This only cost me like five or six bucks. And I was like, you know, I wanna try something new. Um, so just because the primer's not good, I don't want you to think that their makeup is not good because their makeup is incredible. Um, but, oh boy, okay. This is not looking good. and and. Because the primer, look, do you see right there in my inner corner? I, I can't even, it just looks really rough. All right, I'm going to try to even it up on this side because let's see if I can salvage this look. I don't know you guys. I don't, oh man. Okay, that's really disappointing. Okay, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my with this maybe the end result will be very beautiful it's making the makeup look patchy I was hoping to avoid I was hoping the makeup would actually try to smooth the primer out which I know is counterproductive because it's not doing what a primer is supposed to do um no matter we move on we move on we work with it we work with it not everyone's makeup is going to be perfect so I'm I'm still going with it okay so I'm gonna take um, this shade right here, it's called the Chad. 
I think if I can remember correctly from the movie, I think the Chad was a Drew Barrymore's like love interest in the movie. And then spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear this, I'm going to spoil it because if you're going to watch the movie, you better mute it now. He ended up being a, a bad guy. But for those of you, okay, I'm going to put that, the Chad in my crease. Let's see if I can. Oh God, I'm looking at my eyes and just, I just, I don't like it at all. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys can. Let's, uh, oh man. All right. I said I was going to think positive, right? Wow, that's a beautiful color. It's looking really beautiful, actually. If I can get past the patchiness of my, um, rest of my eyes where the primer is. Do that on the other side. Normally I like to do um, two different eye looks, but today I'm just gonna do one. I do have a um, funeral to attend. Um, he, he was very old and, and lived a very good full life. So they're calling it a celebration of life, but so I'm going to um, keep my eyes kind of minimal. <laughs> I figured, uh, you know, tone it down just a little bit for the memorial service or celebration of life, I should call it. I really want to get back into the um, Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge palette. I wanted to do like a really, try to attempt to do a real grungy look. Um, I'll do that video probably tomorrow and then it'll upload probably sometime next week. Let's just blend everything out. Okay. All right. Not looking too bad. Let's see if I can put some glitters and shimmers on here and um, save <laughs> to save my eye look here. I'm going to darken up the outer B here and I'm going to go into this one right here, Independent Woman. Okay, guys, I had a little bit of trouble with that shade on this particular eye, more so than I usually do with other palettes on this side. And I'm thinking it's probably the primer, um, but hopefully you guys can't really notice it. Um, I'm gonna try to even it up on this side because I had to keep going in and like filling in the, the bare spot. But um, so anyways, so I'm trying to, fix it. Yeah. And I'm seeing a lot of, um, patchiness and I, I'm telling you, you guys, it cannot be, it cannot be this palette. It's gotta be, it's, it's gotta be this, this primer. Oh man, why did I do that? All right. So I'm going to take the second brush that I use, the one that's got independent woman on there. No more. Um, not going to add any more, but I'm going to just kind of blend out see if I can. Oh man. Okay. Well, you know, it is what it is. You guys, it is what it is. I'm going for it. We're, you know, it happens. Not every makeup product that you purchase is going to be a winner and you know, it's all right. Okay. So now let me wipe my hand because I want to swatch some of these glitters and metallics for you because in the pan, they look absolutely stunning. And I don't think that my camera is going to do it justice. This one is Angel Eye. This one's Starfish. This one's Dylan. And this one right here is Fast Everything. Gosh, those are so, so pretty. All right, so this one was Angel Eye. This one was Starfish. That one was Dylan. And this one was Fast Everything. Pretty. And they swatched beautifully. They were very creamy, very buttery when I, you know, when I swatched them on my hand here anyways. All right, so I'm going to go into to Dylan. Okay, and... It, gosh, it 
seems really creamy. I don't know that I have to, to wet it, but I'm going to. I'm gonna spray it. You know, I, I don't know, err on the side of caution. Y'all know, I, I say that too, I say that so much. All right, let's go right here. Let's see if I can cover up this bad spot right here. Normally I have this issue in the corner of my eye right there when I have my allergies are bothering me, but my allergies were not bothering me today, you guys. I'm having a hard time and I'm getting a ton of fallout. Um, all right, let's see if I can clean that fallout. Hmm. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do just to kind of test out the formula because I'm thinking the formulas of these, I, I'm what I think are metallics, I think are about the same. So I'm gonna go in with a dry brush on this one. Um, that one's fast everything, and I'm gonna put that on this eye. Let's see how that if that works. Um, not wetting. Oh, ton, a, a ton of fallout, like more than this side. Okay, um, whoa, you guys, do you see all of that fallout, mamma mia? No, you guys, I'm gonna try to, it's a lot. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to fluff it away, like the air blowing it versus me rubbing it into my skin. I'm gonna just take this brush and I'm gonna go into Starfish. And let's see if I can just put maybe a little bit of that in the middle of the lid here. Brighten this look up. What is happening here? Let me add a little bit more to Starfish. I'm gonna wet it some more. I might need to use my finger. Sometimes with these metallics, your finger is the better way to go. Okay, it brightened up just a little bit. I'm gonna do that on this side. I'm gonna take Starfish. I'm just gonna use my finger and put it on the middle of this lid. Yeah, see that? That worked way better than on this side. Okay, let's just add a little bit more. Okay, very good. I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to take the br a brush that I was using um, Independent Women on. It was the a woman on. Let's just kind of blend things out. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's my fault I didn't give this palette justice because of the of the of the eye primer. I think is ruining it. All right, we're going into Angel Eyes. And on a brush in my inner corner, it's chunky. I may have to wet it. I'm gonna just go ahead and wet it. I have enough fallout in my eyes. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, I'm over it. And I'm gonna start to put that in the inner corner. I'm gonna bring it over here a little bit. And then let's bring it up and over. You guys know how I like to do it. You know my habits, y'all know my habits. Add some brightness. Trying to get, I'm trying to make this inner lid right here look better, look more presentable. And I got a bunch of fallout with that too. You know, I'm thinking glitter glue would have been better, but that's okay. But it's still very, very beautiful. I still, I still really like the actual look. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just use a little bit of tacky base. I wanna see if there's a difference, which I already know there's gonna be a difference. Okay, so let's, and I'm just going to, a little bit too much, inner corner, inner lid. All right, now I'm gonna take the same brush, going into angel eye, and then let's put that here. Very minimal fallout, like at all. Glitter glue is the way to go. Let's add a little bit of that to the brow bone right here. Little bit right here. 
Oh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know that there is any saving this eye look. Um, I don't think it was the palette, you guys. I think the primer. Anyways, moving on. I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. So <laughs> let's um mascara on. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational, and then I'll um I'm gonna do my highlight and then I'll do, we'll move into the lips. Okay, you guys, the eyes are done. I didn't do any like wing or tight line or anything. I thought about it, but I'm like, you know what? I don't want to devote any more energy to these eyes. I don't think that. I'm going to be able to save them. I mean, they look decent, but honestly, the, um, oh man, that primer. All right. You know, I said I was going to stop talking about it. Look at me. Listen to my own. All right. Let's move on to lips and highlight. Okay. Something that'll make me very happy. So I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Highlight in Exhilarate. You guys, this is an amazing highlight. In my last video, I was like debating this one or Kaleidos. And I was like, oh, the Rare Beauty. It's so beautiful. It's so awesome. It's so pretty. And then I ended up going with the Kaleidos. So I'm like, oh man, my poor viewers, they probably, I, like I hyped this up and, and they <laughs> went with something else. Anyways. All right. Here we go. Here we go with the Rare Beauty. Extremely pigmented. Very good quality, so beautiful. And I mean, y'all saw, y'all heard me, I tapped it off. Not even in going back in for a second dip, just using whatever's left over. So beautiful. I'm gonna do a little here, a little here. Let's do Dark Cupid's bow. Let's do a little right here, a little boop, 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 boop. Ooh, too much pooping. Um, you guys, it is a good, good. Man, look at that. And you can really. Oh, oh, you want to beam to the moon. But the nice thing with these is that because I have, I have, I have a lot of texture, you guys. I've got wrinkles here. I know you guys can't see it. I've got pores and stuff. I, the camera cannot, it, the camera just cannot pick up on it. Um, on all these flaws that I have, <laughs> um, not dissing myself, but I'm just saying that, you know, certain products, like it doesn't emphasize my texture, like throughout the day, like when I go in my mirror and I look and, you know, from my bathroom or whatever, I'm like, gosh, that's just, you know, I look at it, I'm going, oh man, that's so beautiful. It's not emphasizing texture. So if these happen to go on, on sale for black Friday, you guys don't sleep on it because it's, they're really good. All right. So lips, I was debating with the lips. Do I want to do, I think I'm going to go simple with the lips and I'm going to use the Milani color statement lip pencil and spice. This is such a beautiful, perfect fall time. It really, it's a, it's a perfect year round color, but just like matches everything. So now I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss in Wicked Whisper. It's such a beautiful, like, I don't know, like a really light, like peachy, like nude. Pat McGrath has some very good, some really good um, lip products. As far as her gloss glosses go. All right, so let's, so pretty. Mixed with this brown, oh, it's gonna be like, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna be perfect, you guys. Just look how beautiful that is. Man, that eyeliner, or <laughs> eyeliner, that lip liner really kind of amplified it, made it really, really pretty. Okay, guys, it's time for me to show you the final look. Okay, you guys, this makeup look is complete. That is using the Flower Beauty Charlie's Angels Dylan Saunders version of the palette. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, tell me what you think. I'm a little disappointed in the primer. I think that that really altered the um, palette kind of in a negative way. 
Really the only way for me to know though is to do another look with this palette. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do another look with this palette um, with my reg regular um, eye primer that I normally use, either the Urban Decay or the Too Faced. Um, but um, anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I, I still enjoy putting the makeup on, even though it's a little, <laughs> I'm not too totally blown away or, you know, thrilled with um, how the eye look came out. But I'm um, still, nonetheless, you know, my lips are nice. My highlight's nice. <laughs> so you guys, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.